Over the years, many fossils have been found. Perfectly preserved evidence of a past life, fossils can include organic remains such as wood, shells, bones, and teeth. The term can also refer to anything dead and preserved. But there are many incredible fossils that still roam the Earth. From the primitive-looking snapping turtle to the largest living lizard, here are 15 most incredible living fossils in the world. Number 15. Alligator Snapping Turtle Alligators are large predators that are almost prehistoric. Turtles also share some of the same qualities, including their greenish coloring and rough exterior. But did you know that there's a living fossil that is a mixture of both? I, I had never heard of it, but the alligator snapping turtle exists. It is best described as a dinosaur-like creature, and this alone makes it sound like it belongs in a history book. They are very much still inhabiting the Earth, however, with a huge alligator snapping turtle moved to a new home in June 2020. The enormous beast weighed 65 pounds. These turtles are like no other. They have spiky shells, primitive-looking faces, and have pointed ridges that run along their shells. Ponds, like you see behind us, and alligator snapping turtles are usually found in slow-moving creeks and rivers. Their eyes sit on either side of their heads. These allow them to spot prey from the side and latch onto anything that gets a little bit too close. One of the largest species of freshwater turtle, males can weigh between 155 and 175 pounds. But there have been some instances where they are much larger, like the 400-pound alligator snapping turtle that was caught in Kansas in 1937. That would not have been an easy catch, considering that is heavier than most humans. If the rumors are true, it must have been one seriously big turtle. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Komodo Dragon Komodo dragons are the largest extant lizard species on Earth. These incredible living fossils are a monitor lizard and part of the Varanidae family. Although they are a decent size, the Komodo is considered very vulnerable. Males can grow to a huge 91 kilograms and females 73 kilograms. They also reach incredible lengths. Some males have been measured up to 2.6 meters, and females can grow up to 2.3 meters. The Komodo dragon inhabits the Komodo Island and a few neighboring islands of the lesser Sunda Islands of Indonesia. This analyzes the particles and tells the dragon not only of the presence of the deer. Even though the massive living fossil dragon are considered very interesting and widely known, there's a lot of research yet to be completed. Many facts surrounding their natural history are still missing. These large reptiles have been studied for many years, with researchers saying that there is evidence the dragon evolved from areas of Australia, Timor, Flores, Java, and India. It is believed that they adapted to the environment and then dispersed westward into Indonesia. These dragons are also carnivores. They have been labeled fierce hunters and can eat very large prey, including water buffalo, deer, carrion, pigs, and even humans. Worse still, they've even been known to eat each other. This endangered species is an ecotourist attraction, and although they are protected, we're pretty sure they're more than capable of protecting themselves. Number 13. Sandhill Crane The Sandhill Crane is considered one of the most incredible living fossils in the world. They are amongst the oldest living birds on the planet and can weigh up to 5.2 kilograms. These cranes are part of a species of large crane that are found throughout Northern America and up to northeastern Siberia, covering a large area. 
The bird's name refers to the area that it's commonly known to inhabit, the Platte River on the edge of Nebraska's sand hills on the American Plains. Fossils of this breed have been found throughout northeast Nebraska, with researchers and scientists estimating the bones to be about 2.5 million years old. These birds migrate between wintering grounds in the south and breeding grounds in the north. This is a route they've been taking for thousands, if not millions of years, so they're clearly creepy of habit. Between April and May, the sandhills form their nests in bogs, marshes, swales, or heavily planted areas. They lay between one and three eggs each, which they protect and keep warm until they hatch. The link between sandhill cranes and the Platte River is believed to date right back to the river's origin up to 12,000 years ago. This period of time followed the end of the last known ice age. The sandhill crane population in this area is said to be more than 650,000. The idea of that many birds in one place is the stuff of nightmares, wouldn't you say? Number 12. Aardvark. The aardvark is a medium-sized, burrowing, nocturnal native mammal of Africa. It is considered one of the most incredible living fossils on Earth and is the only living species of tubula dentata. These 130 centimeter long creatures are currently distributed all over sub-Saharan Africa, but the fossil record extends their living habitat range into Europe and Asia. The aardvark is a species of insectivores, which means it mainly feeds off insects. It has a long, pig-like snout, which it uses to sniff out insects and other things that it can feast upon. And they certainly come in handy when you're a busy little aardvark. Commonly found roaming over the southern two-thirds of the African continent, the aardvark avoids areas that are rocky as it struggles to maneuver its short body through the rugged terrain. Feasting on insects like ants and termites, the aardvark is a natural feeder. This limits predators, as unfortunately it doesn't have many defense mechanisms. This living fossil digs through the soil of the hills using its sharp claws and powerful legs, creating burrows that it lives in and rears its young. This animal's population seems to be decreasing as years progress. However, its decline is not listed as concerning just yet. Number 11. The Red Panda. You might be wondering why such a cute wee character could even be considered an incredible living fossil. I know that I sure was. The red panda is believed to be a living fossil as it is the only distant relative of the giant panda. With this in mind, it is naturally more closely related to the other members of the superfamily in which it belongs. It is, however, considerably smaller than its counterpart. Their lifespan is 8 to 12 years in the wild or around 15 years in captivity. Although that, you know, wouldn't be hard. In 2000, scientists uncovered two red panda fossils in a dig site near Johnson City, known as the Gray Fossil Site. Here, they found a lower jawbone from the red panda species. This confirms that the panda would have been living in a habitat around the area. The fossil was discovered just off the main highway and is estimated to be between 4 to 7 million years old. That is one seriously old fossil. The red panda is native to the eastern Himalayas and southwestern China area. They can grow between 3.7 and 6.2 kilograms. They are obligate bamboo eaters, but they also forage for other things to eat, such as grasses, fruits, insects, and grubs. They have also been known to occasionally kill and eat small birds and mammals. Unfortunately, this cute little animal is listed as endangered, because the wild population is estimated to be fewer than 10,000 mature individuals. This number continues to decline due to habitat loss and fragmentation, poaching, and inbreeding depression. Suffice to say, these animals are likely to become extinct soon. Number 10. Tuatara. A modern-day dinosaur, the Tuatara is as close as we get to walking with a prehistoric animal. This incredible living fossil is a reptile native to New Zealand, a place where nature and unique animals thrive. 
The Tuatara resembles most lizards, but is actually very unique, being part of the distinct Svenodontia lineage. These moderately large, lizard-like reptiles are the only surviving members of their lineage, dating back 200 million years, adapting to survive since the Triassic period. Commonly compared with snakes and lizards, the Tuatara is of great interest to researchers as they study the evolution of lizards and snakes, reconstructing their appearances and looking into their habitats. Its characteristics have also been closely compared to those of birds and crocodiles. The Tuatara lives for many years. In fact, it's quite common to see them reach milestones in excess of 100 years. Wonder if they get a letter from the Queen. There are two species of Tuatara known to scientists in New Zealand. They received their name from the native New Zealand Maori, and it translates to peaks on the back, which relates to the back of the reptile. The Tuatara is found across 35 islands, seven of which are in the Cook Strait between Wellington in the North Island of New Zealand and Nelson at the tip of the South Island. It is estimated that there are 45,500 Tuataras living across New Zealand. Number 9. Nautilus the Nautilus is a pelagic marine mollusk which is part of the cephalopod family. This animal is truly an interesting living fossil. The Nautilus comes from the superfamily Nautilaceae and of its smaller but near equal suborder. It is one of six living species of this type of animal. It is native and found only in the Indo-Pacific Ocean. They create their habitats in the deep slopes of coral reefs and usually inhabit areas at depths of over several hundred meters. So you won't come across them when you're out for a casual swim. These living fossils are considered endangered, as only around 3,000 individuals are said to remain. Their shells are highly regarded and sought after. The Nautilus are distantly related to animals such as squid and octopus. Their shells have inspired many artists with their curves and coloration. They are considered among the finest natural examples of a logarithmic spiral or the golden ratio. The fossils of Nautiluses are easier to come by as opposed to any other cephalopods. Researchers, scientists, and other hunters have been discovering these ancient shells for years, some of which date back 500 million years. Imagine what the world would have been like that long ago. Number 8. Purple Frog The purple frog is considered an incredible living fossil. This unusual looking specimen was discovered as recently as 2003. It is described as a natural living fossil that can still be found today. The frog has researchers intrigued as they describe it as being a bloated donut with stubby legs and a pointy snout. The animal itself looks bizarre with its short limbs and dark purple to grayish color. It is smaller than common frogs, measuring just 7 centimeters long at maturity. The purple frog has short and muscular forelimbs with hard palms. This allows it to burrow underground, which is helpful, considering their chosen habitat. These species of frog live in damp, aerated soil areas with good canopy cover and are commonly found at low elevation sites around 1,000 meters above sea level. This wet environment is ideal for this type of frog, as it emerges from its underground burrow during monsoon season to feast on small invertebrates, primarily termites. When it emerges to breed, it lays eggs in small, shaded rocky pools or in the bedrock of torrential streams. When you're out on a walk, you may even hear its cry, which has been compared to that of a chicken. Unfortunately, these animals are endangered, with only 135 individuals of this species known. Only three of these are believed to be female, so things aren't looking good for population growth. Number 7. Platypus the oldest platypus fossils come from 61 million year old rocks in southern South America. These cheeky duck-like characters are incredibly unique and believed to have a lifespan of up to 17 years. 
They have a streamlined body with a bill and broad flat tail. The platypus has short limbs with webbed feet, dense brown to reddish fur with silver underfur, perfect for life in the water. They are not a common animal and only found in a small area of the world. The platypus creates its habitat in freshwater areas that flow throughout the islands of eastern Australia and Tasmania. A jawbone was unearthed in Australia and was believed to be 100 million years old. The jawbone suggests that the platypus may have evolved more slowly than any other mammal. Platypuses are carnivores, feeding on worms, insects, freshwater shrimp, and freshwater crayfish. It uses cheek pouches to carry prey to the surface, where they are then devoured. The current population of platypus in Australia is estimated to be between 30,000 and 300,000 individuals. An accurate confirmation of numbers is difficult because they are extremely difficult to locate. Number 6. Mantis Shrimp Mantis shrimp are marine crustaceans and real-life living fossils. They are believed to have been evolving for up to 340 million years. Pretty impressive for a creature that typically grows to just 10 centimeters long. Although small, they are believed to be ruthless when it comes to eating. They are said to strike their prey with their club-like claws instead of the typical sharper forelimbs of other shrimp. These claws are extremely powerful, given their size. The mantis shrimp enjoys a varied diet of fish, crabs, worms, and shrimp, and will even eat its fellow mantis shrimp if necessary. They are related to the Malacostrica family and are important to reef communities helping to keep them clean. Little is known about the mantis shrimp, whose scientific name is Stomatopod. Researchers find them extremely intriguing, comparing their arms and eyes to that of the praying mantis. Their eyes allow them to see polarized lights, which is a complex skill amongst most animals. Number 5. Hagfish the hagfish can be found in the Pacific Ocean near the ocean floor. This fish is of the class Mixini, which are eel-shaped, slime-producing marina fish. The bodies of these jawless fish resemble early Paleozoic fish. They are the only known living animal that has, in fact, got a skull but no connected vertebral column. This animal does have a vertebrae and are said to be able to excrete a large amount of slime-like liquid to protect itself from its many predators. Paleontologists at the University of Chicago have discovered detailed fossils of the hagfish from the ocean floor. This find has confirmed their bone structure. The fossils are believed to be over 100 million years old. Scientists have used this discovery to answer questions about the lineage of these ancient fish, a lineage that gave rise to modern-day jawed vertebrates, including bony fish and humans. These fish certainly seem prehistoric and are quite the intriguing sight. Number 4. Koala How could this cute little teddy bear-like creature be considered an incredible living fossil? The koala is apparently just that, a living fossil. The koala is believed to have evolved from the Australian continent during the period when the country began to drift slowly northward, gradually separating from the Antarctic landmass. If this information is accurate, then it's possible that koalas have been inhabiting the Earth for more than 45 million years. Fossils found so far date back to 25 million years ago. Koalas reach about 18 years of age in the wild. They are arboreal herbivores living in the drier areas of Australia, closely resembling their nearest living relative, the wombat. The koala lives in eucalyptus forests found within southeastern to eastern Australia, feeding off the leaves. Adult koalas eat between 200 to 500 leaves a day. This gives them enough energy to move from tree to tree and raise their young. Koalas were said to be a food source for the indigenous people of Australia. The land remained abundant with koala up until Europeans descended in 1788. Number 3. 
Pig-nosed turtle. Pig-nosed turtles have been wandering our Earth since the late Cretaceous period. With just over 600 pig-nosed turtles left in the world, they inhabit regions that include rivers, estuaries, lagoons, lakes, swamps, and pools. They are found in northern Australia, Irian Jaya, and southern New Guinea. This strange turtle has apparently inhabited these areas for over 76 million years. Predominantly freshwater, they have the same flippers as the sea dweller and can grow to a length of 22 inches and weigh upwards of 50 pounds. Not surprisingly, they got their name because of their pig-like nose structure, which protrudes from their face. The pig-nosed turtle has gray to olive green skin and is a light cream shade underneath. Males are easy to identify, as they have larger, thick tails. These turtles live for around 18 years, and when reproducing, they lay their eggs in nests dug into sandbars that become exposed during the spring and summer. The eggs, however, are not fully developed and capable of hatching until the wet seasons. The omnivorous animal prefers to eat plants, but will eat meat if necessary. Number 2. Goblin Shark it's no wonder that this unusual looking fish is classed as a living fossil. It literally looks dead. The goblin shark species was first discovered by deep sea divers in 1898 off the coast of Japan. When shown to scientists, they knew exactly what type of shark it was, comparing it to fossils found several years prior. The goblin shark is a rear deep sea shark. It is the only remaining member of the Mitsu Corinidae lineage, which is over 120 25 million years old. This shark eats a range of fish and has been known to consume other sharks, rays, squid, and smaller crustaceans. It has long, sharp teeth protruding from the front of its mouth, allowing it to rip its prey into bits. With immature teeth that could barely penetrate the wetsuit. These sharks live between 30 and 35 years and can grow to a length of 3 to 6 meters and weigh upwards of 210 kilograms. Now classified as living fossils, the goblin shark is located in Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, but is most commonly found off the coasts of Japan. So if you're planning a deep sea dive, you may want to avoid that area. It would be pretty unnerving meeting up with the living dead. Number 1. Elephant Shrews The next incredible living fossil species on our list may just be one of the cutest living animals on the planet. The elephant shrew is a small quadrupedal insectivorous mammal which strongly resembles a small rodent or possum. It has a scaly tail, elongated snout, and long legs. Its body is designed perfectly for hunting bugs and digging around the dry habitat that it lives in. Found across southern Africa, these little creatures live in deserts, forests, and dry rocky areas from the Namib Desert down to South Africa. To catch their prey and to avoid predators, these animals can move very fast for their size. They are decisive movers, gaining speeds of around 28.8 kilometers an hour. By being cautious and knowing their escape routes, they are able to be quite evasive, but unfortunately this makes them hard for scientists to study. The history of elephant shrews dates back to the late Eocene time, which was around 40 million years ago. This fact alone makes for a lengthy evolutionary timeline for scientists to research and discover. A living fossil is an organism that has essentially remained unchanged from earlier geological times. It is also one that's close relations are usually extinct. From turtles and frogs to sharks and even koalas, there are many fossils still living that roam the planet. Most have some fascinating traits, not unlike their distant family members. This all adds to the intrigue, don't you think? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!